Howdy, 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 darling Libra, how are you doing today? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading for August, Libra, see what's going to be happening in your life, all right? Your first row today, we're going to be talking about the person that's on your mind right now. This could be romantic, platonic, darling, someone family related, or someone in the business, all right? All I know, Libra, it's not my business to know your business about who this is about, all right? Your third row, or your second row, Libra, we're going to be talking about what you need to hear today. This could be giving you some guidance, some spiritual guidance today, Libra, or this could just simply be uh, affirming a message that uh, you already were intuitively feeling. And then in your third row, Libra, we're going to be talking about some predictions for you. While the future is never solid, darling, if you continue down the path that you have been going, I can make some pretty solid predictions about what's going to happen in your life. All right, Libra. So let me know how this tarot reading resonates with you in the comments below, because that's how I keep up with you. And let's begin. All right, you have this justice card coming in here, which is actually your energy here, Libra. All right, so this is really fabulous. All right, I get this sense for you, Libra. It's like the message that comes in is just like asleep no longer. All right. And I'm not saying that you've been sleeping for a long time or anything like that, like in a literal sense here, but I get this sense of like an awakening that's occurring for you. All right. Not me just messing up my full rose right now, darling girl whatever uh i get the sense of like an awakening for you here libra and i know i know i know darling it's kind of like that cliche just like you're going through an awakening honey you're having you know a light enlightenment honey all right but in this sense i truly do feel that is the case here for you libra of where it's like there's something that has inspired you, Libra. There's something that has motivated you to uh, take action on something. And I feel like for many of you Libras, either you have just started taking action on this or it's just like the inspiration has come, right? For some reason, like I hear this emphasis about two or three o'clock in the morning. So maybe this inspiration happened um, during like the early mornings, right? Maybe you decided to get onto like a new workout routine or um, putting yourself on a schedule because I'm being shown a whiteboard right now, Libra. Like whatever it is, that that you have been mentally uh planning here or just like have the idea of lean into that more libra because that is exactly what's going to be opening the doors for you that you've been asking for here libra all right i get this sense for you libra as well just as like a side message i feel like it's really important for you to understand libra how you come off to other people and while this is not something for you to be catering to how other people are perceiving you because that's their business that's their problem but i think it's important for you to understand the authority that you just naturally exude all right and so whatever that case may be maybe there's someone in your life right now that you're not quite understanding the reason why they're saying or doing certain things libra it's because of this energy here uh of where it's just like just what it is that you exude and so I feel like it's really important for you to understand yourself, understand what it is that you are projecting out into the world, Libra. So then you can further utilize that for your own betterment. Some of you guys are afraid of like speaking from a place of authority when it comes to, I mean, for, for tarot, for simplicity's sake, right? If I, if this portion uh, really resonated with me, and I guess it could on some level, Libra, right? It's like, I could see this and be like, okay, like maybe I need to be more comfortable and accept the fact that I am a fabulous tarot reader and to get out of my head about, you know, whatever it could be right so let's get into your rows here remember libra your this energy is going to be influencing all three of your rows darling all right so let's get into the person that's on your mind right now all right we have this two of pentacles three of cups here as well as this ten of wands stepping in for you libra i like this a lot for you here but at the same time libra this is giving me this energy of where it's like when it comes to this person here it's like I get this like juggling act, to be honest here. It's the sense for you, Libra, of where I feel like there's certain connections that you have started to evaluate, Libra, and you're just like, you know, it's like, what is this actually serving for me? You know, I get this sense for you where it's like some, maybe someone in like your friend group or a family member, Libra, that has really just started to weigh you down. And I feel like you're starting to make the choices for yourself, Libra, to um, either disconnect yourself from them or just to decide that you no longer need to be juggling with so much with so many people here all right taking a deeper look at these cards here libra i see this ten of wands that i really want to hyper focus on right now and what i firstly want to talk about with this is tens represents closures to cycles libra all right and i get this sense you know i always say when it comes to like the ten of wands the ten of swords the ten of pentacles like none of like all the tens like it doesn't happen overnight it leads me to believe libra where it's just like something has just been stacking up like day after day month after month when it comes to the situation here that you've been having to juggle and i feel like you've been trying your best to make this connection work out in your favor you've been trying to have things just um 
just be delightful i guess i suppose here and i wouldn't be surprised libra if you are starting to just like finding yourself just distancing yourself intentionally or unintentionally just from a lot of connections you might have this feeling of being like an outcast uh, at this time libra but i'm really not concerned about this for you in fact i kind of think this is a really important important decision for you right now libra to just really address like what has been just weighing too much heavy baggage on you like again i get this sense of where it's just like there's certain relationships that i'm just sitting here and wondering libra it's just like well why are you managing these when it's just like bringing you like nothing but stress sure they may mean well sure that three of cups energy it's like they're a friend but sometimes there's just certain people that you can only handle in small doses and that small dose may just you know and now just be at a point where it's just like you can't handle them anymore all right i keep on hearing like this energy of being slightly fed up so for some of you libras you might be fed up with like this juggling act seven of cups energy here it's like the sense of like people make you feel like you're an option when that shouldn't be the case libra i feel like for you there's been this pattern libra of where it's like the people that you've connected to in the past have made you always feel like an option like you haven't felt as if you ever been like the priority right and i feel like in the past it, it was able to slide by for a while here but as you become more comfortable and empowered in your own uh like what you bring to the table libra i get the sense now where you're starting to realize with certain connections like wait a minute i am not an option to have the opportunity to say that you know me is a blessing and you some people are not treating it as a blessing they're just taking you for granted here ten of cups coming in here as well and then we got the knight of swords coming in here so i'm going to be honest libra whoever this person is that you have been thinking about i feel like for you it's like they mean well bless their heart i really wouldn't be surprised if you have been like distancing yourself especially from family uh recently here it's like they mean well but with that knight of swords energy it's like this energy does nothing that really makes you feel better about yourself i mean some days you do right with that knight of swords some days it's like you feel really good but then there's just those other days where it's just like it hits you heavy where you're just like you where you're just like okay i can't do this anymore here and i feel like that's what the problem is libra where it's just like for you it's like you can't ignore the problem anymore four of cups energy you can't ignore the problem anymore you finally have to just acknowledge certain connections and just be like hey like you know you're a good person perhaps but just not good for me right that's kind of what i feel with this i don't really get bitter energy or anything like super negative with this libra i get this sense for you where it's just like as you continue growing you're just naturally outgrowing certain people and the people that you used to click with beforehand they only really clicked with you when you were in a less empowered state and so really in my opinion here libra it's like the only connections that are starting to give you trouble are the ones that cannot handle you in your most empowered state for whatever the reason is libra right maybe it's just like that sense people are just not used to you speaking your truth and setting firm boundaries libra or whatever the case is right i don't i don't like villainizing any type of energy right so take that as you will libra let's get into uh what you need to hear today which is really fabulous here, darling, right? You have the Eight of Swords, Six of Wands, as well as the Magician card stepping in here for you. What you need to hear, Libra, is that, you know, a lot of signs have been getting the Magician energy, Libra, and I've been telling all the signs, like, astrologically right now, it's like, this is the time to be experimenting, all right? This is not the time to be sitting in your thoughts and be like, oh, like, you know, I see with you, Libra, some of you guys are struggling with a bunch of excuses where it's just like and i'm just to be very blunt here it's like you're valuing the opinion of complete strangers online over your dreams of like you know maybe you want to do a youtube channel or it's like you're you're saying like these excuses that you have in your head about saying it's just like you, that you're not good enough imposter syndrome you know insert mental uh problem here mental imposter syndrome there for you libra and you're saying that those things are more important to you essentially there than you pursuing your dream here and if you were to just start taking action libra and accept the fact that if you were to just start experimenting and do things that like again i get the sense where it's just like there's some type of inspiration that's either coming or has already come for you libra that would be really profitable you know especially in like a career way i feel like it'd be extremely successful for you this leads me to be more independence uh in that way socially libra i get this sense for you where it's like you're feeling it's like the reason why you're attracting certain people who don't appreciate you is because you have been always like dimming your light i don't want to say always but you've been dimming your light for a while here and you'll be really pleasantly surprised libra that of like the people that you actually will attract that are good for you libra 
should you uh, start showing your light more i give this sense of just being more unapologetically libra honestly here all right you have my favorite minor arcana card libra which is the six of wands here this is my fame and fortune card here so i'm not saying that you're going to be literally fame like famous and <laughs> completely wealthy libra all right some of you could with the ideas that you're sitting on but again this eight of swords here this is like self delusions here t convincing yourself that you're trapped in a situation that's not the reality here libra but again i get just like great success with this here at Libra. I'm, I'm sorry, I like put on lotion right before him, Libra, and I think I got a cat hair in my eye here. But I just get like a really fortunate time for the Libras that choose to experiment and choose to leave their comfort zone consistently rather than always finding excuses to play small, Libra. Stop being afraid of coming off as egotistical or too much because only people that are going to see you in that way, Libra, are people that are just trying to find a way to uh, tear you down anyways, Libra. People, who's, people who want to celebrate you are going to always see you from a more empowered place. Two of Wands coming in here. I do see the potential in you being able to manifest certain contracts stepping in here libra so if you have been thinking about there we go darling <laughs> so if you have been thinking about libra about maybe perhaps reaching out to someone or a business or a company for a side job or anything like that i feel like it'd be really successful here think about the long term at this time libra all right what it is that you're going to be working on in the coming days is going to be setting you up solid for your future here all right you have here the eight of pentacles here naturally as well this is the time of upgrading for you libra all right the eight of pentacles is a card of like going back to school to further yourself to go up in the ranks right but i always say the school isn't school isn't always about uh isn't the only way to further yourself right for some of you guys you just need to do more research libra on what uh opportunity you know what it is that you want to do youtube channel or whatever your storyline is libra right and that's when the opportunity doors are going to start opening up for you here all right the doors are waiting to open for you libra once you're ready to accept the fact that you're meant that you are deserving of it here quite literally all right and you have to start i don't even like the i don't personally like the saying like fake it until you make it because the, the that really implies libra that at some point in time you'll just believe that uh from some type of outside action that you are worthy when in my opinion you should always be approaching something from a place of where it's like where it's like you of course that people would want to see you right i never approach my youtube channel from a place of being like oh um hopefully someone likes me you know it's coming from a place of being like well why wouldn't someone enjoy my tarot readings i'm fabulous <laughs> right and again some people could take that as egotistical and just fool yourself and you know for them be like yes i am full of myself darling i'll go i feel like everyone should be full of themselves you the, the, the longest relationship anyone ever will have is with themselves and so if you're not obsessed and like celebrating yourself then like why should you expect anyone else to do that for you we live in a society where it's like there's so much shame and just being like being confident in who you are and like the sense of where it's like it's this weird thing it's like people will shame people looking for outside validation but then when people are not looking for that outside validation to feel comfortable with themselves then there's also the shame as well all right libra and i feel like the more that you just celebrate yourself full energy you got my favorite card in the major arcana now too darling all right i really see a new beginning for you guys here once you start approaching your life from a more empowered place where you're just like you know what magician energy i manifest the reality that i want to see in this world here i am control of the opportunities that uh that come forward to me all right taking a more aggressive role libra about your manifestations rather than just relying on like faking it until you make it or law of assumption or attraction or whatever the kids are into nowadays libra this is now a time where it's just like be about the action this is a time of being like you know what i am libra hear me roar all right so that's what i see with you uh for that let's get into your predictions now libra all right don't mind me i'm taking a little time stamp here so for your predictions we have the queen of swords judgment with the six of cups energy here as i said earlier libra i see you guys really practicing some healthy boundaries here uh when it comes to people in your life all right people from your past that six of cups energy this deals with people of the past someone that you share a history with all right queen of swords energy this is your energy it's that air energy libra and you are an air sign darling right and so i just see you putting up some solid boundaries with things that you have that history with judgment card coming in here i really want to be drilling into you libra don't be feel don't be feeling bad or worrying about coming off as like a bitch or something like that libra 
because I do see this potential in some of you guys being in your head a little bit, maybe due to the people that are reaching out to you, Libra, and just being like, oh, Libra, like, you've changed, you've changed, da, 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 da. And it's like, well, of course I've changed. Like, everyone should be changing. If you're not looking back on, like, what you did a year ago and cringing, then that's kind of a red flag in of itself because it's like, how are you just staying the same for an entire year? Again, it's like this weird thing that our culture nowadays has, um, at least in the Western culture, about, like, just, like, constantly shaming people for like self-development and feeling proud about them so it's like a whole toxic thing anyone in the um <laughs> and <laughs> that is um that you all will understand all right tower energy coming in here as well as the death card stepping forward as well and then this king of swords for you libra all right so and then the hermit cards in the back of the deck here as well all right. So flat out, Libra, I see you guys kind of just becoming a little bit more of a recluse, having more confidence in what it is that you give to the world, having more confidence in what you think and say as well. Maybe for some of you guys, you were so used to having like relationships that would always gaslight you or like family members that would always make you have this sense of shame for calling out toxic behaviors or just whatever the case is, Libra. And I really get this sense of where it's just like you're just you're just done. All right. I feel like you're laying down the hammer with people that are just disrespectful to you, people who take Take you for granted i feel like people are going to get a um a very loud reminder that you don't need them they <laughs> you know because i almost feel like these people some people in your life libra have forgotten this idea like have almost convinced themselves that they that you need them or like their presence is doing you a favor or something and you're about to be giving them a reality check because it's just like for you libra you're just like you know what i'm comfortable just for um being about my business working on my own thing here right ten of pentacles and then the nine of pentacles as well like I see for many of you Libras, the more that you start reclusing and just being about your own personal business for a while, rather than trying to maintain relationships that are just constantly weighing you down and causing so much stress in your life. Again, strong financial success here, both the nine and 10 of pentacles here, especially for those that are running their own business or are able to control their income flow in their own way. All right. So really, really fabulous at this time, Libra. Don't be afraid of coming off as a bitch, darling, because only people that are going to see you as a bitch are the ones that need, uh, <laughs> that cannot uh, respect someone's boundaries. All right. You setting boundaries is just you trying to maintain relationships. And, and really, because it's like, you're not placing boundaries with people that you don't care about, because if you didn't care about them, you would just block them. You place boundaries with people because it's like, you want to show people how to treat you so that you can have a fulfilling relationship with them. So remember that, Libra. All right. So that's what I have for you today. Be sure to check out your summon rising as well as your Venus sign. All right, Libra. And let me know in the comments below how this helped you out and give this video a like and subscribe because it helps me out a lot and it's free to do. Love you so much, Libra. Bye, darling.